congruent triangle tests. So there's four tests we can do to prove if two triangles are congruent to each other. Let's have a look. So if this side equals this side, this side equals this side, and this side equals this side, that will be enough information to know that those two triangles are congruent and everything about them is the same. This test we call side, 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 because all three sides are equal to each other. Let's look at these two triangles. If we know this side equals this side, this side equals this side, and this angle equals that angle, that's also enough information to know the two triangles are congruent, and we call this side angle side. It's important to note that the angle is in the middle of the two sides that are equal, and this is why the angle here is in the middle of this two sides here. If it was rearranged, it might spell something else. All right. Two more tests. Let's have a look at this one. If we know this side equals this side, this angle equals this angle, and this angle equals this angle, that's also enough information to know the two triangles are congruent. And we call this one AAS because we have two angles that are equal and one pair of sides that are equal. One more. If we have a right angle triangle and another right angle triangle and we know one pair of sides is equal and the hypotenuse are also equal to each other. This test is RHS because we have the R for the right angles being equal, the H for the hypotenuses being equal, and the S for one other pair of sides being equal. We could have had this side, these sides being equal, but it doesn't matter which other side is equal as long as one of the other sides are equal. So what congruent test would you use for these triangles? So if we had two triangles like this, and we knew this side equals this side, this side equals this side, and this angle equal each other. Well, here we could use the SAS, SAS test because we have two pairs of sides being equal, this one equaling this one, and this one equaling this one. And the angle in between those sides, the included angle, being equal to each other. So yes, we do call that the included angle between two pairs of sides. What about this one here? We have those right angles equal, when you know those hypotenuses are equal. And these two sides are equal. We can use the RHS test to prove that they're equal. Let's look at an example. So we call this A, B, C, D and E, and we know this side equals this side, and this side equals this side, we want to prove that triangle AB, ABC is congruent to triangle EDC. And when we write a proof for congruent triangles, it usually takes five lines of working out. 
one with an intro line, three lines for proofs, whether it be a side or an angle, and we have to make sure we give reasons as well, and then a conclusion line. It's about as close as you're going to get to writing an essay in maths. Okay, so our intro line is we just talk about the two triangles we're dealing with. So in triangle ABC and triangle EDC. Now we need three proofs. So we're looking at talking about three sides or angles that are equal. We can start off by saying AC, the side AC, equals the side EC. And why is that? Well, that's because it was given to us. We can do something similar for BC equaling DC. That was also given to us, so we've already got two. We just need one more. Nothing else is given to us, but if we look closely, we have two lines that cross over each other, which means we're going to have vertically opposite angles here, which are going to be equal. So we know that these angles are going to be equal. So we can say angle ACB equals angle ECD. And we have to give a reason. And the reason that they're equal is because vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles are equal. And now we've got everything we need to know that those triangles are congruent. So we have our conclusion line, but we're basically copying that first line, but we're replacing in with therefore. So therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EDC. And now we just need a reason for that congruency. And the reason is one of the tests, one of the four tests we just learned. And this one, we have two sides that are equal with the included angle equal. So the test we used here was SAS.